Minister of the Interior Ye Jerome held a press conference to announce that his ministry and the National Women's League has reached an agreement. The National Women's League will donate over 80% of its 38.1 billion NT dollars total assets to the Treasury for social welfare. This is a sum of 31.2 billion NT dollars. The NWL will integrate into a social welfare foundation. The ill-gotten party assets settlement committee said that it was pleased, and the NWL emphasized that it was not a KMT-affiliated organization, and it hopes that the assets it donated will be used for social welfare. The Ministry of the Interior continued to request the National Women's League to donate its assets to the national coffers for welfare work. The ill-gotten party asset settlement committee held two hearings to decide if the NWL was a KMT-affiliated organization. After several rounds of fighting, MOI Minister Ye Junrong held a media conference and announced that the NWL had reached an agreement. The NWL will be incorporated into the Social Welfare Foundation, and in the future there will no longer be an NWL. Over 80% of its 38.1 billion NT dollar assets, or about 31.2 billion NT dollars, will be donated to the Treasury. The Board of Directors of Social Welfare Foundations and other subsidiary units will have one third each of government and social justice representatives. This agreement means that the 67-year-old organization is no longer extant. The IGPASC said it was pleased with the result of the negotiation and it hopes to reach a conclusion soon. The NWL itself emphasized yet again that it was not a KMT-affiliated organization, and it hopes that the funds that it donated would be used for social welfare. The NWL spokesperson Zhang Wenxuan said that the NWL policy group needed to transform, and it would use this opportunity to integrate with social welfare organizations. It would not disappear and would continue its social welfare work. The three sides, IGPASC, the MOI and the NWL, would form a dedicated group to discuss implementation of the matter and hope to complete organizational planning, signing of administrative contracts and access to legal confirmation within three months.